Singapore Indoor Stadium. Of course, in a couple of months' time, Singapore will be hosting the 28th Southeast Asian Games. But we're at semi-finals day of the OUE Singapore Open. Three of our five semi-finals completed and all three so far going the full distance. Next up is men's doubles and a first ever Super Series semi-final as a pair for Pratama and Suwadi up against the number three seeds Endo and Hawakawa. Mixed doubles of course will finish off and what a wonderful prospect that is because it is the defending champions and three times winners from Indonesia against the reigning world and Olympic champions. So looking at the men's doubles destination Dubai list at the moment, the top five remain unchanged after the Malaysian Open. Setiawan and Asan are moving up 11 places to number six, having won in Kuala Lumpur. And as you can see, two Danes, four, three Chinese pairs. And I can tell you the pair at number 10, Fu Haifang, and Jiang Nan are already through to the final here in Singapore. And now, can we welcome our court officials to court one for the men's doubles. So the line judges make their way onto court first of all. Playing on court one, men's doubles, world ranking number 41 from Indonesia, Anga Pratama and Ricky Karanda Suwadi. They're going up against... World number six, all the way from Japan, Hiroyuki Endo and Kenichi Hayakawa. Well, Suwadi, the man leading out in the Indonesian pair, Ricky Karenda Suwadi, to give him his full name. Looking a little bit nervous because this is his first ever Super Series semi-final. His partner, Anga Pratama, has played semi-finals before, but with a different partner. Arian Agan Saputro. So our on par for this one. Satyawan Mahadu from Mauritius, his first duty. The toss of the coin. Jitin Bart from Australia is our service judge. of the coin. Yeah, we've seen from our first three semi-finals. Ah, oh, yes, now that's interesting. Hiroyuki Endo saying, well, we'll start that far side of the court. Well, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, well, it was an interesting day yesterday because the number one and two seeds, both beaten, of course, Lee Hyun Il, uh, sorry, Lee... Uh, Yong Day and uh, Yu Young Sung, the World Championship silver medalists at the top of the draw, and Li Xueng Mu and Sai Chia Sin, the number two seeds at the bottom of the draw, both beaten. And as I was telling you, Hu Haifeng and Jiang Nan are safely through to the men's doubles final. Well, the Japanese pair yesterday had to work hard for their victory over the Danes, Mads Conrad Peterson and Mads Peter Calling. First time that they'd ever beaten the Danes. And it was the fourth attempt to beat the Danish emerging pair. But the moment of victory was sweet for the Japanese pair. So as far as Anga Pratama and uh, Riki Suwadi are concerned, unseeded at uh, this event, at their world ranking. Well, don't pay any attention to their world ranking. It's officially 41, up 13 places this week, but they've only got seven tournaments 
towards that and uh, you can see that that's their highest ever because they've only just formed their partnership and as I was telling you well first ever Super Series semi-final in just their fourth Super Series tournament together and their quarter-final yesterday against the number one seeds Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sung was a sensational win the only match that they've managed to win in two straight games as for their opponents, the number three seeds, Kenichi Hawakawa, who turned 29 last Sunday, and Hiroyuki Endo, the 28-year-old, well, they've gone down one place in the world ranking this week, down to number six, but they have been as high as two. Second semi-final at this particular tournament, because they were semi-finalists in 2012. So three games yesterday against the Danes. As we were saying, having defeated last year's champions, Tai Yun and Lu Kai, in the very first round, 21 17, 24 22. <laughs> Tamara Rampa, Satyawan Mahadu of Mauritius, and Jitin Bhatt of Australia, our service judge. Gentlemen, on my right, Anga Pratama, Ricky Karanda Suwadi, Indonesia. And on my left, Hiyoruki Ando and Kenishi Hayakawa. Ricky Karanda Suwadi to serve to Hiyoruki Ando, level, flex. So the Indonesians nearest to us. Oh. Well, I wouldn't be too surprised if there's a few nerves One for this love. new Indonesian pair. Yeah, Anga Pratama will turn 24 next month in Jakarta. Seeing as the Indonesians are such a, a new partnership, that this is the first meeting between these two pairs. In fact, the two Indonesian players actually played against each other in the round of last 16 last year. And it was Suwadi and his then partner, and Griawan one on that occasion. Unbelievable defense from Suradi. Yeah, good rally. Service over. Two, all. Badminton fans, I saw them in the crowd yesterday. Oh, service fault called. Service Struck over. above the waist. Three. Oh. Oh. This frustration has been called a fault on the serve. Service over. 
Ritchie Kawakawa's return of serve and that put away. Even more determined. like to play Five. the fast, flat Four. exchanges. But we did see yesterday in the quarterfinals that the Japanese pair do occasionally just change the pace, especially Hiroyuki Endo. Oh. Time we've had a two point difference between the two pairs. Oh. Not for long. Now it's over. Five, six. Good at the net is Pratama. Shot well, having said that he likes to play the fast game just a moment or two earlier, just proving me wrong. Nice variation in pace. Cool, good. Eight, and it's four straight points eight. by the Indonesians. It's an Nine exciting over. new combination, this Indonesian Nine. pair. Only formed their Nine. partnership at the Hong Kong Super Series event at the end of last year. That was the very last Super Series event of 2014. Oh, he's missed it. Nine. Yeah, too big a swing Eight. with the racket, he says to himself. Nine. Really is blossoming as a player in this new partnership. 
I sat next to him on the players' bus back to the hotel last week in Kuala Lumpur. And whilst his English is limited, it was certainly enough for the sign language to be able to know that he was very happy with the way his partnership was going. Trying to play the shuttle into the midcourt area, Pertama, but it was a little too loose and got punished. Oh, the Japanese fans won't know which court to watch. Japanese players and the women's doubles in the adjoining court as well, so those Japanese fans keeping an eye on both. Oh, the Indonesian coaches will be very, very happy with their players at the moment. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you, coaches. Thank you. Nice change of pace again from Suwadi. Getting more and more impressed by Suwadi the more I see him play. Yeah, well worked by the Indonesians. rally I think <laughs> now the umpire has raised his hand to call the tournament referee and I wonder if there's yes. this now what on earth was the problem there Keeping my eye on the tournament referee as well. Twelve nine. Oh, behind the oh. attempt between the legs, so the Indonesian pair mustn't get carried away with Time themselves and Ten. start Twelve. getting. Uh, involved in the trick shots.
read where the smash was coming. Raki Karanda Suwadi. Yeah, look at that. Looks so casual as he just drove that across court. And because the player down, didn't you how go up? Court will need to be mopped. Service over. Eleven fourteen. Change of shuffle required. Oh, yeah. Just keeping an eye on the women's doubles as well. hit on the defensive shot there from Endo. Popping the shuttle up 11. nicely for Suwadi to put it away. Yeah, gradually moving forward. Anga Pratama hits and look to edge forward in court until you can make your way right forward to the net to play the winning shot. One, two, steps halfway in. Yeah, nicely done. Five is over. Twelve, sixteen. Well played. 13, 16. Six Super Series tournament finals ah. never won a Super Series title. And I thought yesterday after their victory against Mods Conrad and Mods Collin. This might just be 17, the Japanese players. A big chance. Racket's gone. Eighteen. Oh, was it just a Just to miss it. Oh, yeah, put your time out to see. Two points away from the game, the Indonesians. Be careful lifting from the side of the court. 19. <laughs> well, the line.
line judge first of all indicating Second. out and then pointing in and not surprisingly the Indonesians have decided to challenge Anga Pratama, such indecision Ricky by the challenges. line judge called in Hawker's going to tell us it was in. Challenge. So in and the right decision. Down judge. Fifteen, nineteen. Ricky Suwadi, Anga Pratama. One challenge remaining. Left. Very well taken. Good serve. Looking for the net shot reply. And just taking that off the top of the tape. Look at that. Super play from Endo. Oh! Yeah, good return throw from Suwan. is over. 20. Game point. 16. Well, game point opportunities for the Indonesians. Second time, second opportunity is converted. First game won by Anga Pratama, Ricky Kalanda Suwadi. 21 minutes needed for game number one. Well, of course, the Japanese coach is Ryomi Maniki. Originally from Indonesia. The brother of Yotsu Maniki is now heading up the Indonesian revival. In World Badminton terms. Second game, love all, left. So having won the opening game, the unseeded Indonesians. One, love. Number three seeds from Japan. Well, they chose ends. Uh, they chose ends yesterday as well, the Japanese pair. So that they started what they perceived was the bad end. So all the Japanese pair come storming back. No wonder.
to love. Service short. Service over. One, two. Good judgment. That's a go long. Service over. Three, one. Too long. Oh, that's a pity from Suwadi's point of view. There was a huge three. gap there. It's over. Four, two. being quite lenient about the players toweling down and taking on board some liquid. Thank you. Yes. Smash and Yuki Endo. Cross the body of Karanda Suwadi. Service over. Six, four. Wheel Four. of frustration then from Hawakawa. Super play. And as far as the Japanese combination are concerned, somehow they've got to get themselves on the attack a little bit more. Because the Indonesians, when they're hitting in a downward direction, do look very, very impressive. Okay, thank you.
8-4. No serve is short. Service over. 5 8 Can't really fault the Indonesians at the moment. They are maintaining the attack so well. Nine, six. Suwadi. Ten, six. Well, so much for my theory at the moment that the Japanese pair, this was their, perhaps their tournament where finally they would win a Super Series title. This is a healthy lead in the second game, having already won the first. 11-6, the advantage to the Indonesians. Seconds, court one, 20 seconds. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Yeah, well, I wonder if they've really built themselves up so much yesterday. Kawakawa and Endo record their first ever victory over the Danes, Conrad and Holdy. 11 seconds. Often happens, Left. you see it in sport get the big victory over a pair or a player you've never beaten before. And then there's sort of an anti-climax on perhaps the thought that, you know, prepared for the tournament, you see the big match ahead. Oh! Big match. You almost forget that there's more matches to be played. an indication of just how much sideways drift there is. He's completely missed that one.
anticipates it. Or maybe he was watching his opponents. Oh, that's a lovely serve. Serving out wide instead of to the tee. Nice variation. Pratama making his way forward again. But he didn't get enough downward direction on his approach to the net. Pushed it wide. Mm. Almost came back in with the drift. Japanese pair. More attacking play. 11, 15. Oh, I think they have to continue that if they want to come back. Yeah, it's a super smash from Endo. Six points to three points. This the big move by the Japanese pair. Four straight points. Thank you. Aranda. The big move. Five straight points. And now only one point the deficit.
taken by Pratama. Service over. 16. 14. It's similar in a way, I think, to Indra Setia one in that he has this innate ability just to read the game. That real understanding where to be, where the shuttle's going to come back. Go for it. Yeah, he moved in at the right time, read it well. by the Japanese pair. Japanese pair, if they want to change the shuttle, the Indonesians obviously did, and the Japanese said no, and the umpire saying, well, are you happy with that, the Japanese pair? You get the benefit of the doubt. Oh, my goodness, he dropped his racket, didn't he? Kawakawa. Well, wonderful comeback. Six points adrift Leos. at 9.15 down. And it's now 17 or eight of the last 10 points. Well, that's good to see the discussion between the two Indonesians. We're again to serve who's going to cover what, trying to calm and encourage each other. Oh! Yeah. And that's well played. Two tantalizing points Nine away eight. from the first Seven ever eight. Super Series tournament final for this new Indonesian pair. Oh, 
Oh, no silly shorts. Time is over. Oh. 18, 19. Even on oh. the service errors. Oh, I thought that was very short as well. That's gone wide. And once again, it's all level. 19 all. Game point opportunity now for the Japanese pair. From 9.15 down. Oh, a point to send it to a third and deciding game. Saved. Great interceptions at the front of the court from Ricky Karenda Suadi. Yeah, putting that last one away with venom. Well, 20 all, and we will require extra points until there's a clear two point winning margin. Once again, I have to say that I'm very surprised that the umpire are allowing so many timeouts. So now a second game point opportunity for Endo and Hawakawa. <laughs> and they take it. It is one game all. And I really didn't think I'd be saying that at 9.15 down in the second. Hiroyuki, Endo. Forty six minutes, and it's one game apiece. What a remarkable comeback by Endo and Hawakawa. Park Jubong has come down to get involved with the coaching now that the Japanese women's doubles pair have finished their match. So their confirmation. One game all.
Well, everything to play for, quite obviously, in this third and deciding game. And as far as the Indonesians are concerned, they have to put Level. that opportunity they had in the second game completely out of their minds. Got to start a new... He served into the net. It's a good serve from Pratama. As I was saying in the Wait. second game, he has Love. this ability just to sense where the shuttle's coming. He has that understanding. Oh. Very, very good front court player. Service over. No service Ball. short. One. Oh, oh my goodness, completely missed time that. Service over. with a good flick served, didn't it? straight points to go into the lead Japanese pair
Oh, went for the nice drop shot, the change of pace. Service over. Five. Oh. Yeah, it was a nice idea. Oh, with body weights falling backward in court. Really didn't hit through the shuttle enough. Have to compensate for that. Service over. Six. All. Well, the choice of ends oh. yesterday for Hawakawa oh. and Endo proved decisive in their quarterfinal match against the Danes. Service over. Seven. And I suspect the Six. choice of ends here in the semi final will prove likewise. coaches knows, know how important it is for the Indonesian players to have the advantage at the change of ends. But that is another service, service error. Eight, and he just short seven. of that front service line. This is extraordinary again. Okay. I'm allowed to have a timeout. Service over, nine, all. You work for the front court player to be able to finish it off. In one game, all nine all. smash in between the two over. Japanese players Seven. and them both leaving it Nine. for the other. Now this is their sixth year in this partnership. I would have thought they'd got that one sorted out. Should be the player on the cross court who takes the one down the middle. Anything you can do, we can do as well. Service over. Ten. All. Yeah, 
it's understandable with the Indonesians being such a new pair partnership. So it's over. 11 times in total. Change ends. So it is the Indonesians who have the advantage albeit just one solitary point. And the fear, if you're an Indonesian fan, is that the Japanese pair now have their favoured end in which to finish the match. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you, coaches. Thank you, coaches. Thank you, coaches. Thank you, coaches. So as the players return Calanda. to court. Towel. 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 Yeah. Thank you. I'm making sure that all of the kit is inside the kit boxes. Players return. And it could not be closer at the change of ends. There's got to be at least one point in it, and that's all there is. Exactly one hour. This men's double semi final has been in progress. Service oh. over. 11 all. Suadi. Service over. 12, 11. Yeah, just apologizes for hitting his opponent. Yeah. Got him in the middle of the chest. Certainly, there's two Japanese players in deep discussion. Oh! Oh, whatever they needed to sort out has obviously been sorted. That was a very good point from there. A little wild with that final shot. And once again, we're all level. Look at that. saying something about moving forward, cutting down that mid-court area. Well, that's nice. Oh, oh he's missed it.
Yeah, obvious disappointment at that era. Who's got the nerve? No questioning the desire. <laughs> oh. Unbelievable. to keep in the rally. Look at that dive. Time is over. 15. All. Well, rally like that can give you inspiration to push home across the finishing line. Attacking play from Endo and Hawakawa at the front of the court to intercept. And at this crucial, crucial stage, Japanese pair just ease into the lead. Long. Time is over. Sixteen. All. Left. Oh, yes. oh, it's good. It's good. Long levers has Suwadi. Oh, just indicating that he thought that the Japanese pair were interfering with the shuttle. Trying to slow it down by bending the feathers back, so they've taken a new one. Good serve. of attack from the Indonesians and look the frustration from his partner as well no oh, we had a rally of 46 shots earlier on and that was certainly one of the longer rallies
So three straight points by the Indonesians. Oh, just three points away from a place in the final. Oh, there's a challenge here. It was called in. No, yeah, the challenge was immediate, and they might as well. They haven't used any of their challenges so far. Oh, yeah, that's clearly out. Clearly out. Yeah, confirmed by Hawkeye. Over. 17, oh, that challenge could be crucial. Turn and alert as always at the net, Pratama. No, I remember a 1917 lead in game number two for the Indonesians. And at that stage, Suwadi served into the net, but this time it's Pratama serving. Good serve too. play whether the storm of the smashes turned their defense into attack the Indonesians and now three opportunities to appear in their first ever Super Series tournament final Disappointment for the Japanese pair. Uh, what an occasion for the young Indonesians, Unga Pratama and Ricky Karanda Suwadi. Held their nerves. Won by Unga Pratama, Ricky Karanda Suwadi. 2117, 2022, 2117. So the umpire confirms the score. What a thriller that was. This, the final rally. Suwadi goes forwards. He tries to intercept. He manages to do so. And that interception, the lucky net cord. So 21-17, 20-22, in the deciding game. An hour and 12 minutes of fascinating badminton. And the young Indonesians having today competed in their first ever Super Series semi-final. Tomorrow will be in their first ever Super Series final. Confirmation of the score. And what a match that men's doubles was.
Singapore Indoor Stadium. It really is a magnificent building, isn't it? Lovely location. And we're seeing some sensational badminton. All four semi-finals so far have gone the full distance. Just one more semi-final to come. And it features the world and Olympic champions from China, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei, up against the defending champions and three times winners of this Singapore Open title, Tontoi Agnad and Liliana Nasia. We're looking at the destination Dubai uh, list and at top of that is the World and Olympic Champions. They've played two Super Series tournaments and they've won two, one in Malaysia last week and of course they were winners at the All England where they beat their opponents of today, currently number five on that ranking list in that final in Birmingham. But uh, after reaching the semi-final last week, I can tell you that Ahmad and Natsir, who we're about to watch, have moved up from eight to number five. So that was good points for them last week. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the last match this evening for the OUE Singapore Open 2015. Please welcome our court officials to court one for the mixed doubles. Playing on court one for the mixed doubles. World ranking number one from China, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. They'll be going against. From Indonesia, world ranking number five. 